Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is, um, wow, it's crazy that we get such good distribution down here. Um, it's crazy. I honestly, it's uh, gotten to a point where it's like, you know, granted I don't get the local, local stuff from New York, but like, unless I was visiting breweries, like it feels like I'm back home. Uh, this is Narrow Gauge. Uh, Narrow Gauge uh, really impressed, has impressed me. This is out of Fluorescent, um, Missouri. This I actually got to review when I was uh, working at Decade and Nails, and they got some uh, Narrow Gauge. Um, yeah, so this is at a fluorescent, uh, can't buy fluorescent brewing. Hmm. How does that work? Fluorescent brewing. Uh, but yeah, hey, on our eyes, <laughs> you guys post the consoles, you know better than me. 8% uh, rock appliances. We just got this fresh um, can about a month ago. And this is a double IPA with uh, Golden Promise Oats, Acidulated Malt, Galaxy Mosaic Columbus. So all the cheater hops in here. Not super hazy. Or light, like not super light, but yeah, definitely super hazy. Sorry about that. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Wow, that is insane. You guys see that? That's like yeast, right? Like I've seen chunks, but that is chunky. I had it on the side, but yeah, you guys can see that. Yeah, that is insane. It literally looks like someone threw like, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'll drink that stuff, but man, I mean, these are literally like, I mean, half a centimeter long, like big chunks. These are ginormous chunks. Okay, uh, let's take this guy. Really nice kind of like um, medium deep gold color. Uh, big, big haze on that guy. Uh, head looks fantastic off uh, slightly yellowish head. I have a little cold, so there's that. But on the nose, smells a little bit of that polyphenol thing. I think. Yeah, um, it's very standard, um, familiar. It's uh, all those yellow fruits, yellow oranges, mangoes, and, and passion fruit and pineapple. Ooh, I wish I had this guy a little bit warmed up more. Yeah, because now, now I sneak into a bit more, it's a little bit more ripe, a little bit more um, distinct than just simple, kind of like familiar uh, New England IPA, right? Your goal is to not only get the familiar kind of like juicy character and those familiar hop characteristics, but to like expand on it. Like you want it uh, to be amped up a little bit more. And that's the kind of stuff that blew me away with Sapwood Cellars beers. Again, Sapwood Cellars, uh, in my opinion, uh, having had a treehouse, those are the best, easily the best uh, New England IPAs I've had in years. So let's do the chicken. Yeah, quite nice. It's 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 ripe pineapple, mangoes, just like juicy, juicy ripping. Uh, really nice. Mm, smells killer. A little bit of like diesel character on there. Smells fantastic, cheers. Yeah, they're crushing it. That's really good. I mean, that's stupid drink, 48%. Oh, man, that is good. Just came from home from work and man, Hard, it's hard to really, I mean, it's hard to A, um, get New England IPAs that fresh down here. I mean, they come that fresh, but you have to pick them up fresh because otherwise, you know, they'd be a couple months in. You don't know if they're on the cold shelf, warm shelf. Um, this is on the cold shelf and very fresh. And, mm. I mean, what can I say? You're sending beer of this quality down here? Wow. Um, it's up front. I mean, this to me, it's pretty treehousey, yeah. Like I'm thinking haze or something like that. It's big, juicy, ripe mangoes, um, passion fruit, sweet, sweet mandarin oranges. Really nice kind of like nice fluffiness in the middle without being um, uh, too big. There's a good amount of a diesel character, poly, a little bit of polyphenol, but like alcohol like really helps uh, dry out this beer. This beer almost drinks at like eight, five, nine, but in a really pretty way. Um, most recent beer was the uh, Finback, which is really lush, like fluffy, big, uh, ripe, ripe, ripe. This is more elegant. This is sort of like, um, I think Treehouse, I think, um, other half as well. Um, 8% is like really my pretty place where like I think uh, New England I can New, New England IP can really shine with not only having the sweetness and the alcohol with it, but also not being overly big, but not overly thin too, right? Like we're talking about all impression and I think uh, this place it's really nice um, despite the unattractive character and the house actually settled quite nicely in the bottom of the glass. Mm. Wow. It's a big punch of really sweet, 
um, tropical character up front. Again, this that sticky mango thing, a um, little bit of apricot. Um, not as maybe juicy as like, you know, the, the, the prime of New England IPA that I remember that blew me away when I got into this, uh, is, you know, got into this channel and like did all that crazy stuff and, you know, got the pop, uh, channel pop, channel, channel popular words, uh, channel popular with, uh, stuff like Kim Forbeson and Treehouse Trillium and all this stuff. But this reminds me of that. You know, I, I felt that New England IPAs certainly felt like in general took a dip with like a lot of producers making it. Um, Treehouse definitely has uh, with mo they're more like produced styles, but then like you have some crazy stuff like um, stuff for a few like Berry Green and um, Juice Machine. Uh, here, Rocco's like ripping up something. So I'm gonna take care of him doing that in a minute. It's just a box, but. But man, that is a really well executed New England IPA. Um, it's not as fluffy and sweet as um, some of the like the I guess perfect examples, um, nice juicy maybe, but it has a nice juiciness, great drinkability, uh, great drink drinkability again for a fluffy, sweet New England IPA, you know. Um, but yeah, if you're a New England IPA lover, um, they're still crushing it. I mean, last time I had one of these beers was years ago. Uh, we're talking three, four years ago. So they're just doing a great job. Hmm. All the cheater hops. And I guess a Columbus is doing this really nice thing where it's like, got some bass tone that I'm talking about where it's like, has a piney dank thing. Then again, um, Galaxy Mosaic can do the same. Um, Galaxy Heavy, wow. I would guess it's sister in here actually, but. But yeah, and combine those cheese drops is just so good. That's killer. Um, I'm gonna go higher than the most recent world class new IPAs that I just reviewed. That's a 98. That's a 98 for me. That is absolutely fantastic. That is just um, absolutely killer. That's killer stuff. So that is Rocket Appliances. Glad I picked this guy up. That is a huge flashback memory to some amazing New England IPAs that I've had from New York. So, um, or New York, or sorry, not, not only New York, but sorry, New England. So, uh, Narrow Gage, crushing it. Uh, let, me go ahead, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that is a 98. That is fantastic. Until next time, guys. Cheers.